All right, here's another time lapse. This time I'm not speeding it up so much. Uh, this is a little thing to kind of put some detail in the tail. So I'm going to be using this mask brush. And it all starts with the direction that you have to start with the mask brush. This is the mask curve brush. You've seen me use this in some of the earlier lessons. And what I want to do is develop some scales for the tail. Um, some bottom scales, like dragon, a dragon's breast. This tool takes some getting used to, so it takes me a couple times to get um, the selection that I really want. I don't want it so thin on the bottom, so I have to do it a couple times. going to inverse that mask then I'm going to take the standard brush make it really small and just make lines in here this is great when you when you need to make super details but um, you don't want to take the time to go through and uh, try to make a really small brush or mask it off or anything like that. It's just great to take your standard brush and gouge it out a little bit. And then you take your pinch brush and you pinch it back. So you can make some really nice detail on things. Then I'm going to take my standard brush here, again, that keeps moving around on me, and I'm just going to uh, first add a little bit to the one side, making it a little bit poofy. Therefore, it looks like they're on top of each other just a little bit more. Again, you know, you want that contrast. Then I'm taking and smoothing those two forms because the mask is always too harsh. Uh, basically, because it's at, you know I'm still at a very low polygon ratio. I'm only on level six still, so I'm inflating the form just a little bit after I do that, so it puffs that section out. And then I can clear the mask and do another shift smooth in the area, and you can see that divides up the body quite well. Just want to see all the forms, how they touch, how they are coming together. Now, this this little section gave me some problems because of the fact that, you know, when I polygrouped it together, um, I didn't really think of stomach details. So I'm trying to get a polygroup in there. I'm going to have to make a new polygroup. So as you can see, this polygroup right here is what I'm trying to get a hold of and it's part of this arm structure. So I'm going to have to separate those polygroups out by hiding everything except for that area right there. And I group that together using the group visible feature. So now what I got is the ability to hide everything except for that part right there. And now I can work on the undercarriage of it to blend uh, the new scales going all the way up to the stomach. So again, just like the tail, I mask off the area first.
And then I'm going to sharpen that mask a little bit. And then I'm going to fill it in again. You can see I'm only on level 5, so it doesn't give me a whole lot of detail in this area. So I'm going to have to uh, sharpen it and then add just a little bit more right there just to get a sharp enough mask. I'll inverse it and do the exact same thing I did to the tail. Subtracting the form and then pinching it. In this case, you're seeing that, you know, that whole polygon structure right there just because now remember way back when when I was inserting uh, Z spheres in the area and I said, well, you know, I got to make sure all the areas have enough detail so I don't have to keep going up and down so many levels. Well, here's a perfect example right here that, you know, I I should have inserted another Z sphere in the area just to just so I don't have to keep going like 1 to 7 or 1 to 6. Right now I'm still going 1 to 5 and it's it's making a very good um, workflow but anytime that I have to get too high that leads to a long wait before it, it backs all the way from a level 7 to 1 so that's why I do that again it's all it all trickles down to your workflow so now what I'm going to have to do is just try to get as best I can in this area clear it out and smooth it And then I'm going to have to go in and probably sacrifice and put some more detail in there. So now I'm on a division of six. I'm using the pinch brush here to pull, pull those muscles together. All right, so far so good. In the next video, I show you a lot with the pinch brush. So I'll meet you in the next video.